Hello world, welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge video. In this video, we're going to be doing the Adonai Assembler Chow. Let's get into it. So this challenge is a programming challenge and it is ranked easy. This is an introductory assembler programming challenge for anyone who has always wanted to begin learning 64-bit Intel assembler. Adonai.asm file provided compiles and links, but does not provide the flag. You have to edit the Adonai ASM file and change it to display the flag. There is a README file with four videos to watch that provide enough information to add some assembler instructions to the file and compile and link and run your first assembler program. So they say assembler, but it's assembly. So we know we're dealing with a 64-bit assembly file, so I've already added it to my Kali box here so that we can start playing with it. Now, let's go ahead and actually take a gander at what we're dealing with here. So if we look in here, we see that we had the data section and we have some strings predefined here, or some variables predefined here with strings associated with them. So, you know, the intro and then I guess the error message if you don't get the flag and then whatever that is and then whatever that is, those those decimal values map to ASCII values. So there's probably multiple ways we can solve this. We could easily just throw this .asm file into an online compiler and just play with it that way, which is probably the easiest method. Also, we could probably just convert these numbers to decimal and they that's probably what the flag is. It's just encoded in decimal values, but let's do it the way they want us to do it. That way you can get an idea of how you can actually code in assembly. I mean, this isn't going to be anything like game changer for you, really. It's just going to be a very basic operation that we're going to do to solve this challenge. So down here we have the starting block and then we have a print flag block and I I think they said that we gotta change it so that it does print the flag. So this print flag function probably is okay, I imagine. I guess we'll find out, huh? But then this start block, it doesn't look like this print flag function ever gets called or it's ever gotten to, right? Oh, and this section just tells you where to start in the code. Let's see what it does without doing any modifications to the file. I probably should have ran that in the background. Let's, let's run that in the background. There we go. There, now we have access to our terminal still. And We'll start off, we have to first compile our assembly file. So we got to do run NASM and then specify a format. And we know it want, we want it to be 64 bit and it will be an ELF file since we're doing this on Linux. And we want to specify an output object file. So we'll say adonai.o. And then we need to specify our input file, which is just our typical assembly file, right? And so if we do ls now, we'll see that we have an object file. We can't actually execute that object file so we have to actually link it to an executable. So the way we do that is we just do LD and then we type in the adonai.o and that's just a dynamic linker. And then we do set the output file to adonai. And it should already be executable by default. So if we run it, of course, sorry, no flag for us. So now we know we gotta modify our file so that we can actually print the flag. And we already know we have a print flag function in there by which we can actually utilize. So let's go ahead and go back to our gedit and I'll we go ahead and zoom in on this if I can. Okay, I zoomed in for us so we can see it a little bit better. But there's a couple ways, like I said, we can do this. We'll start off by the first method I'm thinking of, which is simply just by putting a jump instruction here, which is basically gonna say, hey, jump to the function in the program that's specified after the instruction call, right? So we wanna jump to print flag, and hopefully that will actually print out our flag. And that should be all we have to do there. So we'll go ahead and save it, and we'll go back to our assembler, and we'll rerun all of our commands that we did before to get our executable. Now if we run Adonai, cool, we got the flag. So solve the challenge, let's go ahead and take this and put it into our, you know, our submission block and hope it works. Ah, oh my goodness. Here we go. Put that here. 
mm, there we go. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.